So this is a forums question, and it's around creating data flow profiles in Magento. And this question came in from Cliff, and Cliff's question was, I'm trying to export all of my products via the standard export in Magento. I am having two problems. Firstly, I can't view all of my attributes as it only shows one page and there's no option for a next page. And the, the other problem was to do with an error within Magento. I think it may have something to do with the size as I have around 1,200 SKUs. All I need to export is around five attributes, but I can't see them and it's causing problems. Appreciate anybody's help. Cliff. So Cliff, that's what we're going to do. What we're going to do, we're going to jump across to Magento and follow along in your system. And I'll show you how to create a custom data flow export and how to run it and then how to find the files as well. So I'm going to jump across to Magento and I'll catch up there with you in a few moments time. So to create a custom profile or data flow profile within Magento is actually really easy to do. And I'm going to set this up with the sample bullet points, which we've shown in the other tutorials as well. So to do that, we need to go to system, import and export, and then data flow profiles. And then we need to create a new profile. And this profile is going to be the custom profile, which we're going to go and run. So let's go and click on add new profile. And we need to fill out some details here. So let's go and give this an example of Cliff. So that's going to be the name. So that's the internal name is what we know it by. So if it made more sense for you to call it five bullet points, then call it like so. The entity type needs to be products. And the direction is that we want to export those options. So we've been changed those on there. And a quick note is, and again, I'm going to cover some of the advanced options during this quick forms question answer as well which is that you can forcefully bring out values just for specific store views so maybe you're using magento to sell on to multiple ebay marketplaces and you have translations and you want to translate those is that you can pull them out by store view and of course we would i'm assuming that in those store views you would have different language settings but in our case we're just going to leave that as default admin values let me just scroll my screen down a touch and the next section is the data transfer. So leave that on local forward slash remote server, type local server, and then file name. Let's go and call this five bullet points.csv, like so. And then the path. Now, this one might catch you out. And what you actually want to type in here is var forward slash export so it's going to export to your magento website in the var folder and then in the export folder as well now into the data format section again i'm just going to scroll down a touch is that i would strongly suggest that you choose csv and the reason for that is that number one it'll run more quickly and number two the file size will be much much smaller and just leave the defaults of what you've got in there and original Magento attribute names in first row, you want to set that to yes. So you actually get the headers at the top of the file and that comes in really useful. So you know which attribute you've exported by the column names. And instead of choosing export all fields, is that if you drop that down and choose only mapped fields like so, is that you get this field mapping section below. And this is where we can put the different values of the columns or the custom attributes which you want to export from your Magento system. So let's start with the first one, which is SKU. And let's go and add another one. And this is type. So you know what the product type you're exporting, whether it's a simple, a group, or a configurable product, for example. And what I'm actually going to do is that I'm going to add in five attributes. And these were the bullet point attributes in here. So I'm going to choose... ATT underscore bullet one, two, three, four, and five, like so. Now, that would actually just do it. That would get you those five attributes. But I'm actually going to point out some of these filters down at the bottom. You can run extra filters on here. So if you only wanted the SKU type simple product to be exported as part of this export profile, you could set that using the type field. And again, you could also do the attribute set name. You could do it within price ranges, the visibility, the status. You could also do just for specific SKUs. And again, depends upon your naming convention. 
as well and again for the same for the title as well so if you had a pacific supplier which always started with ben for example then you could enter that and you would only just export those products with the stock number which starts with ben at the beginning so that's not what we want we're just going to blank that out there and we've just left those now as the default now once you've been and done that if you then press save and continue edit in the top right hand corner is that you now get some extra buttons on the left hand side if you then click on to run profile and then click on run profile in pop-up now this will take a few moments to run and again the larger the catalog the longer the time to run okay and there we go we can see it's been in run and we've loaded 107 records and it's been and saved to the five bullet point stop csv file now we need to find where that file's actually been stored so let me just change my screen over here on the left hand side and bring this across onto the screen is that if you ftp into your website and again you're looking for the folders app downloader errors includes etc etc and then you've there's a folder called var and in there there's another folder called export and then within here is that if you just navigate into that file, you'll find a file called five bullet points dot csv. So let's open that one up and let me bring that across to my screen. And that's what we've been and got from this custom export. We can see that we've got the column headers, SKU type, our five bullet points across the top, and then we've got the products as well. And we'll see that we've got the simple products in here. And again, let me just choose that row just there. So we can see that we've got the SKU name there, we've got the type, and this one's simple, and we've got the configurable product just above it, just there. And then we've got the bullet points as well, and that means that you can then edit them as you will, as you need to. And of course, these columns will now match a direct import into MagMe as well. So Cliff, I hope that's been in a help to you. And of course, if it doesn't, please let us know in the form. So for myself, Matt, catch you soon, and cheerios. So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful. And myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.